everybody, this is Tiziano and I'm here at Skydio with Kyle, uh, Product Marketing Manager, and he's gonna tell us everything about this awesome system right here. He's gonna tell us something that happened today. They really, they actually released an SDK for developers, and I'm all ears about that. So tell me more about this platform, how did it came to life, and also, you know, you know, it makes so easy something that is actually really complex to do. Yeah, so I'll start with the background. So this is Skydio R1, and it's the result of four years of R&D. Mm -hmm. So Skydio was founded in 2014 by uh, a pair of founders, Adam Bree and Abe Bachrock, who actually had founded Project Wing at Google X, yeah. Google's drone delivery effort. They led core flight algorithm development there. In 2014, they decided to leave Google, start their own company, focusing on autonomy for drones. Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing is the result of four years of work mm -hmm. by I them and I the remember, team that I they remember the famous video where they, they were zigzagging in the parking lot. Yeah, that's right. They started showing the technology in I early 2015, and then we went into deep stealth. Uh, so the main thing to know about Skydio R1 is that you know, we call it a self-flying camera. You'll notice that on the outside, it's surrounded by cameras, uh, two on each side for 13 cameras total on the drone. And like our eyes, by having two cameras, we're able to extra uh, extrapolate depth uh, that we see in each direction. Mm -hmm. And from that, we actually make a 3D map of everything in the environment around the drone. So it knows all the stuff not to hit as it flies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, from there, we're also running a high-end NVIDIA GPU that runs neural networks that actually recognize people in the environment, can visually see the differences between them, and that means that we don't need to have a wearable or tracker to follow someone. I'm already lost. You know, I already, you so, know it, it sounds so easy to you, but yeah. it's actually very, very complex. And, that, that's and right. Look at look at what is running here in the background. I mean, this yeah. is just amazing. Now, it looks like a, a movie or some you know visual effects, but it's actually what the machine is doing in real time. That's right. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right that it's something that's incredib incredibly complex. It took 70 people to build this. PhDs, masters in robotics, AI, computer science, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. Uh, best in their field pulled out of Apple, Tesla, Google, Oculus. We've got a list of A players within Skydio that were required to make something like this work. But the result is a user experience that's easier than anything else on the market. You launch this thing with your phone, you tap on a person to follow, and you can actually just put your phone away. It's and it will fly itself the rest of the time. It's impressive. Um, and as you alluded to earlier, uh, we're now actually opening up those autonomy capabilities to uh, a wider set of use cases than what we've been actually serving. So when we launch this, it's kind of like the action camera of the future, almost like a GoPro from the 2020s. Uh, you know, it's a, something that you put up, it films you doing action sports, and you don't have to worry about it, and it makes yeah. awesome footage. Yeah, it follows you while you're you know, doing fancy stuff. I mean, I'm never going to run that way. <laughs> Okay, I actually don't even do jogging, or no, I definitely not gonna do that. Yeah, she's doing flips through the woods. Okay, okay, flips she's a power the, user. Or look at that. <laughs> I mean, I would uh, never do that. But you know, someone like me that would you know just walk in the wood, or you know, take a take a walk in the park, or have a good time with friends. That is, it looks like a, an amazing system. So, uh, as you alluded to earlier, we're actually though expanding uh, the kinds of things that you can do with R1 yeah. by launching an SDK. Oh, something so about that. So that's uh, SDK stands for Software Development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what we're launching is the Skydio Autonomy platform, mm -hmm. which lets you write apps on top of our autonomy capabilities. So if you want a drone to look at a wind turbine for rust damage, or inspect a rooftop for hail damage, or create a scan of a construction site that's in progress to monitor how things are going, you could write logic for how the drone should fly, and it can then do those flights all on its own without a pilot. Uh, and What's so, the language for the SDK? Python. Uh, so you're not awesome. writing, in, yeah. You're not writing in awesome. low level C plus It's all in high level Python, easy to do. I like Python. So, I so uh, we're really excited about that. Basically, we think that the future of drones will look like this: mm -hmm. things that take in a lot of information about the world, have deep AI based understanding of those circumstances, and then appropriate behavior written on top of that. Of how should I act when I see these circumstances, or when I'm in this situation? This looks really like a very bright future for you guys. That's what we're hoping for. Okay, uh, we're gonna find all the information about this SDK on the website? Yeah, skydio.com slash developer. Uh, we've put out information 
information about the SDK that lets you write logic that runs on the device, an SDK that lets you write a custom iOS app to control it, as well as a simulator that will let you iterate on the logic that you're writing for the drone without having to bring it to the like a real world location. You can basically have a simulated environment that looks like a house or a mall or a construction site and have a virtual drone act in a virtual space to see if your code works. That's really interesting. Do you plan eventually even to do a sort of um, you know marketplace for sharing apps or that so, people can develop using so your SDK? You can definitely see that being something that we would offer in the future. It's not something that's available now. However, with the developer tools that we're going to be making mm -hmm. available, if you're someone who's writing uh, an app on mm -hmm. top of our drone, you can instantly share it to any Skydio user. It'll show up on their phone, and they will have that available app available to them instantly. Oh, so amazing. not an app store or marketplace just yet, but uh, first couple of steps towards something like that. Oh, that's fantastic. So I thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for a uh, good conversation. And we're heading to the next booth.